Hey, 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 what's up everybody? It's Uncle Mad here. A little bit of a pre-trip vlog. We're gonna do a pack with me video. This is something I've seen people do on YouTube when they're going on a trip or doing something where they show off how they pack for specific trips. I don't know why, but I'm on YouTube, so I guess I gotta do things that other people do on YouTube. So we're doing a pack with me video for our upcoming Disney trip. I'm also planning to go to Universal, but it just always feels easier to say I'm going to Disney instead of I'm going to Orlando and visiting multiple theme parks. I will be utilizing for the first time ever this nice full-size Mickey Mouse suitcase that Sissy purchased me for my birthday, so I get to use this for the first time, which is pretty cool. I'm driving down, as I mentioned in the announcement video, and so don't have to worry about checking bags or anything like that. I can fill up my car with as much luggage as I want. I can move the whole house down the floor if I so choose. Not gonna do that, though. We're not gonna do that. All right. I think I've got everything laid out here, so let's just go through it. Gonna keep it simple, pretty straightforward. All right, yeah. toiletries, we don't gotta go through this. You know what's gonna be in there. Shoes, maybe you take two or three pairs of sneakers, uh, cause you know, I'm better at walking in sneakers in Disney than I am in like, anything like that. I also got like uh, my running strap and my knee brace in here because I will have to at some point in time during the trip get at least one run in because that's how you get away with eating all the calories you want on vacation is if you do at least one exercise that counts for everything, that's all you need to do, so stuff for running. What next, what next, what next? Flip-flops, not gonna wear these in the parks, these are more hanging around around the hotel, condo, whatever, going to the pool there if we do something like that. Water park, maybe if there's a water park day, gotta bring those. Socks, I'm gonna bring way too many socks. Once again, not checking a bag, it's going in the car, I can Overpack if I need be. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I got this on Amazon. It's like a little zip up, unzip laundry bag to put your dirty clothes in when you're traveling. Perfect. Hats. As a person who is inflicted with uh, not having much hair on the top of my head, these are crucial for some a trip like Disney Universal where you're gonna be outside in the sun nonstop all day long. This hat in particular is one I very much like. I got it on one of my very first Disney trips just because I thought it was just hilarious. If you can't read it, it says, Yas Queen, with the Queen from Alice in Wonderland, and then it says, Slate It. So, plenty of hats to make sure the noggin stays protected. Similar line, we got sunglasses, Mickey Mouse Ray-Bans for when we're at Disney. Spider-Man Gooders for when I'm either running or going to Universal because they have Marvel Islands of Adventure there. What else, what else, what else? Magic Bands for Disney, I forgot these the last time I went to Disney. Luckily they've got it set up now where you can actually use your watch the same way you could use a Magic Band, but these are just fun. I, I always like to use the Magic Bands. Oh, what else we got, what else we got? Vlogging stuff. Tripod for the camera if need be. Bringing along the little adapter I use to be able to edit videos on my phone. I don't know how many videos I'm gonna publish from the trip while I'm actually down there, but I'll probably put together at least one or two while I'm down there and publish them. I found I'm able to do it pretty quickly using this on my phone. Like I, when I started this idea of doing daily vlogs earlier this year, I said, you know, the two times where I thought it might be problems were like on vacation or otherwise, because I don't like to edit when I'm on vacation, but this makes it really easy. Like when I used to have to like jump back and forth between my phone, my computer and other areas to edit, it was a lot more complicated. It's still, you know, sometimes isn't the most fun thing and can be a little time consuming, but using this to like edit quickly on my phone has made things work out better. So bring this, edit a few videos while I'm down there. Backup battery charger, obviously. Little case for carrying it around the park. I don't really use that this much. I pretty much have just taken to putting my camera in my pocket. Like I put phone in one pocket, camera in the other pocket because I'm not carrying keys and stuff like that. I'm not carrying as much stuff usually in Disney as I am when I'm at home, so I don't have more pocket space. But every once in a while, I'll also get the backpack. I don't typically carry this to the park anymore just because it's heavier than I really need. But I do have, oh, I definitely want to use this on this trip since I just got this. It's something Jessica got for me. Disney World Fanny Pack. This is what I'll probably carry around my camera stuff in in the parks, you know, just easy, small stuff, tripod, extra battery, extra memory card. Yeah, I'm definitely taking that one. This one can stay. I have two laundry bags apparently. I was wondering where that was. Uh, a waterproof cover thing for 
my phone if we go to a water park or something like that. A little heat towel, that's a must. Okay, now getting into kind of the main clothes. This is where I think I probably can be maybe helpful to somebody who may be planning because this is where maybe I do something a little differently than somebody else because I mean, pretty much everything there. Don't forget to pack shoes when you go to Disney World. That's not a huge revelation or helpful. All right, so shorts. Got these, these are just kind of standard shorts that I'll sleep in, they're nothing special. But these, these are the ones I want to highlight. These are bird dogs. These have been revolutions since I, you know, was introduced to these a few years ago. I, really, they became a perfect Disney short for me. That's why I started wearing them, but then I just was like, these are kind of perfect for everything that I do all the time, always. So I just started wearing them basically every day, all the time, except when it gets cold and I have to wear jeans. They're, you know, stretchy, so they're flexible, but you know, they, look like kind of standard like khaki more shorts type things got a few extra pockets for storage um like i said flexible breathable it's kind of like more of a sporty type material than like khaki or whatever so they're perfect for like hot walking around heat working out in running in i use it for that too but why they're so big for disney i don't really know the explanation why these are in these shorts bird dogs i've never had less chafing in my life than when I use these. Obviously you gotta, you know, at a place like Disney, we're gonna be walking a ton. You still gotta throw on a little baby powder, a little extra help, but these work miracles when it comes to chafe pre prevention. Workout shirts, Peloton, if you can see that, Peloton. Like I said, gonna get at least one workout in to prove that I can eat everything that I want. These are just some like general comfy t-shirts, not that big of a deal. Um, all right, here's the next one. My kind of go-to top for going to the parks is button-ups, kind of button-ups, whether it be like Tommy Bahama, kind of Hawaiian style shirt, short shirts, speak English, or uh, Roosevelt's. This is a huge one, the Roosevelt's company. They make all kinds of pop culture, like button-up shirts that are just awesome design. This is obviously Back to the Future, hoverboard one, that'll be a good one for Universal, but they just, because they're open, you can kind of pop a couple buttons down if you need. They're a little bit more breathable than t-shirts and such, so they're very much a go-to for me on Disney trips. But I do still pack a few, just kind of normal t-shirts too. I usually take a couple sports jerseys just because, you know, it's always nice to represent the home team. This is the Assemblies, uh, throwback to the NFC style. Nashville football club jersey and then I also got a Braves jersey in here Thought about maybe going to an Orlando City game on down there and one of the, in the live chat Friday uh, One of the commenters Richard brought up. Uh, oh, you going to Orlando City game while you're down there? I was like, I have to look at the schedule. Turns out they have a home game This upcoming Wednesday night while I'm gonna be down there. Maybe I'll go to that. I don't know I don't know if I want to take time away from going to the parks and doing all the other stuff to go to a Orlando City game, you know, so but maybe it could be fun. I've been to one before. It's a lot of fun. Uh, then just some like regular t-shirts. I don't wear these too much, you know, maybe if I were going to like Disney Springs or some like non-park activity where we won't be just outside in the blazing heat non-stop. Like I said, they don't tend to breathe as well as like I think the button-up shirts do. This is by far like though my favorite though. This is like a throwback vintage tie-dye Mickey shirt. It's actually a reproduction of a vintage shirt. Like I had this back in the day when I was a little bitty kid. My mom actually found hers, I tried it on, it did not fit surprisingly, shockingly. My mom's shirt from like 1998 did not fit me in 2020, but Disney like re-released it in a new like updated version, so I got that and it's always a part of the trip. What else? Sunscreen, that's a must, that's a big one. Hmm. Well, I've packed everything that I set out to pack. I've certainly forgotten something. There's no doubt about that. You can't possibly go on a trip like this without forgetting stuff. I do have charging cables and everything. And that, I keep that. In my, I keep like backup charging cables in my toiletry bag. That way, I just never forget them because if I'm keeping on my head to like try to remember to bring the ones I use on a regular basis, I'm always just going to leave those plugged in the wall at home and forget about them. So I always bring, always leave a couple extras in my toiletry bag to make sure I don't forget charging cables. I think that's it, though. Like I think of everything that I thought I needed to pack, I think I have packed. Like I said, there's almost a 100% chance that I've forgotten something. And we'll likely have to either buy it or go without going down there. Um, so that's it. If you've caught and spotted what I forgot, let me know in the comments down below. If there's key things you take when you go on a trip to like Disney World or Universal Studios, let me know those in the comments down below because obviously I'm always trying to 
improve, perfect the system for any kind of Disney World travel, any kind of Disney World trip. So always open to suggestions, always open to new ideas, but we're packed, ready to go. Tomorrow we hit the road, so stay tuned for that video. Subscribe to the channel with the bell turned on for notifications so you get alerted when it goes live and when any other videos I post to the channel go live. Thanks for sitting through this definitely entertaining video of me packing a suitcase because you got to pack with me to go to Disney. Oh, one more thing I forgot to pack. I'm just gonna put this in here. Nobody's gonna know. How would they ever know? Nobody's gonna know. Why'd we go out of focus? What just happened? All right, next morning I'm actually packing up to leave two things I wanted to highlight. This is like a portable Apple watch charger. So I'm bringing this along because my Apple watch is getting to that point where it doesn't quite almost make it all the way through a day. So we'll see if this is coming handy. And then this is like an essential for Disney, the fuel rods. These are little mini charging batteries for your cell phone. And they have kiosks throughout the Universal and Walt Disney World theme parks where when your fuel rod runs out of energy, you can exchange it for a new one. At Disney, I think it's free. I think at Universal, they're charging like $2.99 for an exchange now. But you can also, as you see what I'm doing here, you can also recharge them yourself. So if you want to just take it home at the end of your park day and charge it back up for the next day and not pay the cost at Universal, you can do that too. Bathing suit. That's what I forgot. Luckily, bird dogs can function as bathing suits too, so we're covered there. But we've made it to Florida. More to come.